people were still walking in, and I was like, <laughs> I was doing my. Uh, in the beginning. Hey, Come on. Okay, okay. <laughs> Is there anybody from the past 50 years of hip hop that you would like to make a song with that you haven't already? I didn't do I didn't do one with Wayne directly. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah. He's one of the ones that like Wayne been trained. Like I was like, people don't know I, I was on the Cash Money Rough Riders tour. Oh, for real. Before they opened the curtain. Before the show started. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> what happened? People were still walking in and I was like, <laughs> I was doing my the beginning, they thought I was lightweight, but then I came back around. Yeah, okay, come on. Okay, okay. Oh, Get him. I'm an animal god. Call me Lil Weezy and the cow. I go harder. I only about a dollar. Fuck two quarters. Bitch, I pour syrup in that vitamin water. I hope you die ugly and tonight I'll be gorgeous. You want me to, you want me to die ugly? Okay. Okay. Don't end up on the list, nigga. Howdy, baby, damn, it's your brain. You make me want to kiss you like baby kiss Wayne. And make you call me daddy like baby do Wayne. Damn, that shit sounds gay, it's insane. I got 1,000 grams in my kitchen. But Trina was telling Wayne, I love you, boo. She was just running games, she told Buck that too. This nigga's an appetizer. Where you at, Wayne? It's Sparks Davis on the check-in. And we got 50 Cent with Capital One. Where he's asked about you know collaboration he'd like to have and he mentions Lil Wayne. In case y'all don't know, 50 Cent and Lil Wayne had a little back and forth between the early mid 2000s where MTV released the top 10 hottest MC list and I think Lil Wayne was ranked like number one and they asked 50's opinion on it and he's like, yo, why and how? You know, he's basically using my formula by hopping on other people's beats, doing freestyles and remixes and making songs out of them you know things of that nature and i guess wayne got wind of it and a song got leaked where you know he speaked on pouring something in 50s vitamin water and we don't really know because when mtv asked wayne about it he refused to comment and you know 50 when you poke at 50 it's like poking a bear he gonna go full daughter on you pause and all that so 50 let it be known in a couple songs how he felt you know funk master flex asked 50 about it, you know, his relationship with Wayne, and he felt like Wayne, you know, he called him a whore, saying he paid for anybody that, you know, would do a feature with him, and, you know, back then, a part of me didn't like that, a part of me didn't like the fact that anybody could get Wayne on the song, because you know when Jay-Z hops on a song with somebody, you know he did something to deserve that feature, but when Wayne did it, you know, it was pretty much just for the money, I mean, any local upcoming rapper could have got a verse from Lil Wayne if his money was right, but then the other part of me liked it, because, no matter what you did, you always heard Wayne on the radio because he was on everybody's song. He was flooding the streets with mixtapes. He was flooding just nonstop material, hopping on everybody's songs. So from a marketing standpoint, you know, I thought it was genius to, you know, over flood the market. Nobody's ever done it before. And, you know, when you're the first to do something, you know, you're always going to catch hate for it. And if we ever see another artist do that again, we all know that Lil Wayne did it first. But, you know, we never seen a phenomenal artist you know, work ethic like that since then. So I don't plan on, you know, thinking somebody else gonna have another run like Wayne did when he dropped the Millie. Like he was just on everybody's shit. And you know, he had also called out Eminem too and 50 didn't like that. You know, he said in a song, if you wanna get the M, you gotta reach through me. And contrast to popular opinion, I actually think Lil Wayne always had the better bars when they collaborate. Uh, I'm talking from, uh, the forever song to drop the world if you actually look at lyrics and you compare line for line Lil Wayne's lines versus Eminem's lines on those songs gotta give it to Wayne like if I don't hear the flow in the song and I'm just reading lyrics I gotta give it to Wayne but that no love song Eminem just completely demolished Lil Wayne on that but you know my mind shines even when my dark I mean my thoughts think dark something like that like Wayne he had like more meanings in his lyrics on that song but that's a video for a whole nother day I promise y'all I'm gonna release a video comparing the two I'm not saying that Wayne's a better you know better rapper than him because like, you know they both in my top 10 so hey it is what it is but yeah I would like to see 50 and Wayne come together because you know uh in the past you know M Wayne look at we got some dope collaborations out of that so 
and maybe we'll get one out of 50. And for all you people saying that, you know, Wayne would just wash 50 on a record, keep in mind, 50 Cent did his thing on Nas' office hours. Now, his bars was short, yeah, but if he would have did that the whole song, yeah, y'all know where I'm getting at. But anyway, let me know how y'all feel about it in the comments. And of course, if you like the video, make sure you like and subscribe. 